you to Sizzix chapter 3. Now, in case you're wondering how the chapters work, well, throughout the year, we split the year into four. So it's chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3, and chapter 4. Chapter 3 tends to be primarily festive themed, but we do have some other dyes in amongst those as well. And these are just the Sizzix dyes. Of course, there will be Tim Holtz with his releases, there will be Eileen Hull with her individual releases as well. So be sure to tune in for their videos also. Now, let's start with some of the dyes that are not festive. Of course, it's the middle of summer, so we do have some summer theme dyes as well. So I'm going to take the first of those sets, and this is called Woodland Celebration. I love these little characters. I love the balance. I love the quirkiness of them. Uh, very, very illustrative, of course. These clouds. I love good clouds. You can't go wrong with good clouds. But you can see they're a lovely size, perfect for card making, journaling, any of your favorite paper craft types of makes. Now, next up, we've got Floral Garden. And it does say how many sets? Five dies, but you know what? In amongst these five dies, separate elements, there are about 60 separate bits and pieces in this set. So it's something that you can mix and match. You can take those flowers out of there. You can add them to that little birdhouse. We've got a little bird here. We've got a butterfly. We've got a watering can. We've got planters. We've got foliage. It's the sort of thing that you could use forever in a day and never repeat yourself. It's a lovely, lovely set. And perfect, of course, for this time of year. Now, next up, we've got a couple of flowers. We've got chrysanthemum and gerbera flower. Now, this one I like because, depending what colors you choose, that could be a daisy, that could be a sunflower. It's entirely up to you. The freedom is there in your hands. And you can see it's a lovely size. So you can mix and match these petals. You could put as many or as few as you wish. It's perfect when using a Color Story cardstock, but why not use some of our sculpting foam as well? And the paper sculpting kit is perfect for getting the best out of dyes like this. Now, the chrysanthemum, you can see there are two sizes of flower like this. So you can do them in different tones, you can do them in different colorways, you can really have a lot of fun with a die set like this. And as I said, that paper sculpting kit to get the dimension in that floral is essential as far as I'm concerned. Now, it's not just summer, of course, chapter three incorporates Halloween. And look at this lovely, lovely little set. I love the animated feel of this tree, of this figure. You've got the cat, you've got three different pumpkins, you've got this lovely ghost, you've got some bats. Pretty much you've got Halloween covered with that. This is our only set for Halloween in Chapter 3, but Mr. Holtz is coming up with a wonderful collection before you know it. There's that tree. It's a great size, a great size for card making. If you're doing Halloween toppers or anything like that, your card making invitations, this is an absolutely ideal set. So let's put those to one side and we'll get on to our festive fillets. And I'm going to start with Layered Christmas Flower by Lisa Jones. A lovely flower, a classic flower. Now, Obviously, it's done in the colors of a poinsettia. And this is done using exclusively our festive color story cardstock pack. So just some of the colors from that pack, a gorgeous, gorgeous set. But you know, you could do this in creams and ivories and whites. You could use our opulence. You could use our ivory opulence, our Christmas festive opulence as well. Lots of glitter card. But the great thing about these dyes, as you can see here, that there are marks within that die that etch into the die cut. So it tells you how to layer up your dies. So there's no guesswork whatsoever. And when you do layer them up using different tones, you get something like this. Very, very versatile, lovely, lovely shape. And it's not just Christmas. This could be, I mean, you can use it in spring colors. Obviously, not the... Uh, 
not this mistletoe, but the rest of it, you know, it's for all year round. But for Christmas particularly, it's absolutely perfect. And you know, towards the end, we'll be showing you some projects that we've made with some of these different dyes. I haven't made everything uh, yet, but we've, we've got plenty of projects to show you. This one is Christmas Elements. You can see why. Uh, we've got these lovely holly fronds. We've got this fantastic little deer. This lovely corner element as well. And a classic Merry Christmas sentiment for you also. And there are even some little baubles which you can hang off that lettering or off your holly fronds. We've got those gorgeous bells as well. So using your Christmas cards, so using some of our opulence as well to mix and match. It's a great, great set to have. And it's one that you can use with many, many of the other dyes in this set. And here's one, layered Christmas tree. This is another set. And with this, you get the large Christmas tree. And then you get the dyes for all these little bits. You can layer it up in greens, of course, as we've done here. You can use things like your expand paste on the snow to get a realistic sort of snowy effect going on there. There's even a couple of gifts at the bottom. And it's a lovely, lovely size, as you can see there. Perfect for a card front. And you know what? I'm gonna reach behind me and I'm gonna bring in a card that I've made with this. And this has got a more, it's, it's a kind of a cooler color palette. Um, we've got a bit of glitter going on there, some lovely gems as well. Very, very simple, very classic. Now, Another favorite of mine, again, by Lisa Jones. This is Festive Banners. Lots and lots of little elements. There are 14 dies in the set in total. And all these elements are quite separate. So Lisa's used, when, she, when she's made uh, the, the dies for this, as we call it, embellished image, she's used some different greens from a color story pack, from a festive pack as well. You can do these in neutrals, it's entirely up to you. They're a great size, they really are. Uh, again, perfect for your card making. And let me bring in some samples thereof. And this one, just using red and some of our silver opulence. How about this one? A little bit of ivory, that lovely mint color as well. Ivory in the center. Then here's another one. This is using more traditional Christmas colors. And these colors all come from our festive cardstock range. And then sometimes, sometimes just making it very monochromatic. So that's ivory against blue. Well, it's not blue, it's actually, it's one of the, well, it is blue, but it's a blue from our color story pack. And you can see how well they all work together. Now I'll take those away for a second because I'm gonna bring in another one. And this one is a particular favorite of mine. This is called Christmas Character Box. And it makes these lovely little triangular boxes. And you can decorate the front either with, with and because they come to a point like that, obviously it describes a Christmas tree, but also it could be Santa. It could be Santa's little helper as well. You can tie these with ribbon at the top, with twine, whatever you wish, but imagine these on Christmas Day on your table with little treats for all the family. These are the parts of the box which go together beautifully. It's a lovely little set. And even if you just use the triangular element in the front for a card, absolutely perfect. Lovely, lovely die set. Now we talk about favorites. And cut out snowflakes. You're probably looking at this and thinking, well, yeah, it cuts a couple of snowflakes. But you know what? What it does, you have the separate element here. This one is perfect, absolutely perfect, for making your own stencils. And through that stencil, you could run our acrylics, you could put our texture paste, our 3D glue, and then you could use it with some lovely foil sheets or flakes. It's a great size. It's great for home decor, for upcycling. If you want to take a little piece of furniture, maybe a journal front or something like that. It's a gorgeous little set. It's, it's one that I particularly love. And the reason is, it's versatility. I do love dyes that are versatile like that one. Now next, let's have a look. This one's called Essential Time. And when I say essential, it's a very, very simple, typeface 
but it works with all your script typefaces, your block typefaces, and I do like to have two or three on hand, but this is the sort of thing that will go with you through the years because of its simplicity and the way that it works with other dies. It's a lovely size, as you can see. Perfect for card fronts, perfect for tags, perfect for scrapbooking or journaling as well. But the simplicity of this is one of, and so easy to lay down on a baseline, so easy to position, very forgiving in that sense as a font. Um, so after that, we've got floral abundance. Now 24 separate dies in this set. And as you can see, they've been done in festive colors. But you know what? Spring, summer, autumn, even Christmas, neutrals, it's entirely up to you. But what you're getting is a classic set. And what I particularly love about this are the different sizes. Because I, I don't like it when everything's about the same size. With this, you can mix and match. You can have it, you can use individual florals as effectively as using them all together like this. And again, a great size. Very delicate shapes. One of my particular favorites, again. And from there, onto a favorite for many of you, these wrap dies. This is the snowflake wrap. And you can see the die itself, it actually forms one side. Use them both together like this. It's a great wrap for maybe a festive uh, wedding, a save the date, an invitation of sorts, because I guess pretty soon we're gonna be sending out invitations. You can also use it for the edge on a, on a handmade envelope as well. And this is the size of the die and the way it comes out. Lots of detail, very, very delicate. You know what, you could even use this to stencil through as well with all our pastes and all our acrylics and all our other wonderful effects range. And this one, this next one, Christmas borders, obviously. Um, but you can see these, it's very contemporary. I love the style of this, it's very stylistic. And you know, that's what we try to do here at Sizzix. We try to keep you as makers ahead of the curve when it comes to the style. It has a very modern, uh, fresh Christmas color palette as well, but you can use it however you want. That's entirely up to you. I'm sure you can see the creative possibilities, not only that, the versatility of a set like this. Then. Next we have our snow dome. Now this, obviously you're getting that circle. You're getting all these separate elements. You can use them together, you can use them individually, you can mix and match the colors. But one of the great things about this set is it works with our three and a half inch domes. So you can put one of those lovely domes over there. You can put some of our sequins and beads there from our color story or our metallics or our festive set. And you can turn that into a wonderful, wonderful shaker card. Or if you just want to use it like this, then that's fine too. But we're getting eight dies in the set. Lots of little elements, even all those little snowflakes as well. Great, great set. Then next up we have Christmas decorations. And again, a different style to the uh, one that we looked at earlier. We've got a, a wonderful sentiment there, Santa's hat, this great banner. We've, oh, look at that. That would be lovely on, on a Christmas door or just by itself on a card. But the thing I like about sets like this is how you can mix and match. You can use them all together. You can use them all individually. And it really does put in the, the freedom to create back in the hands of you, the maker. Now, this one is something I've been working with recently. Okay, this is called Boughs of Holly. You can see the size here. You get all the individual holly pieces. You get all these individual swirly elements as well. And you get your berries. I'm gonna reach back and I'm gonna pull in a few samples for this. And now this one is using a very fresh, very modern Christmas color palette. Then this next one, what I actually did on craft card, I used a brayer to apply some of my acrylics. Oh, and check out that background. That's something, that embossing fold is coming up in a little while as well. So that's a kind of a more neutral, more naturalistic style. Speaking of which, this is just craft card, white creamy acrylic from Sizzix, of course, 
and a brayer, and we've got some corrugated cut in the background there as well. Remember our font, that classic font I told you all about? There it is, Silent Night. Perfect, and a great size, as I said. And then finally, if you want to go with opulence, how about something like that? So it's the same set. It's exactly the same set, but a very different vibe to the colorful one that I showed you earlier. But just by mixing and matching some of those opulence, and these come from the gold set and also the rose gold, and you can see the Noel that is done with our essential type in the center. Very, very classy little card, that one. So I'm gonna move that out, and I'm gonna bring in some of our bigger Thinlet sets. And let's start with this one, which is Winter Wonderland. Um, this set, you can see there are 10 different dies, but it's one of those layering die sets. So you can layer up this scene. You can use as much or as little as you prefer. All the snow caps on the mountains are there, all these individual trees, the holly and berries. But what you can do by using our Sizzix foam tape, you can get a sense of depth. You can layer these, you can put them in a box frame, you can create a box card. Even just that car by itself with a tree is enough for me, even without all those other little bits and the classic shapes, very, very modern looking. And talking about classic shapes, how about Basic Shapes Christmas. Now, does it get more classic than that at this time? Well, not this time of year, but when we're thinking about Christmas. Great for cake toppers, great for card toppers, but they're very, very simple shapes. And when you get a simple shape, it allows you a lot of creative freedom, whether you're using inks, whether you're using acrylics, whether you're using paste, whether you want to die cut these and turn them into stencils as well, or masks. You know, there's a lot going on, and as you can see, they're a great size, and they are just classic, simple, basic shapes. And these are one of my favorite styles of dyes, because as I say, they give you the freedom to add the color, the texture, whatever it is you wish. Now, home for Christmas. And you do get that phrase, home for Christmas, included with this. This is very modern, the, the shape of the tree, the shape of that lovely topiary bush as well. You can imagine that one either side of this door. You can use the door by itself. You can use any of these elements by themselves. You can have the presents around the tree. That's a card in itself. But with this door and all these separate elements, you're gonna have a lot of fun with this set and quite versatile as well. Now, we do have a circle die which goes with this topiary tree. If you cut the center of it out, look, you get a lovely Christmas garland for the front of your door as well. So it's very well thought out. You're getting 15 dies in the set and it's a lovely size for your card fronts as well. Uh, how about one of Jen Long's this is called Card Belgia Fold Along. Now, if you know all about the Fold Along cards, you know exactly where we're going with this. But what it does, it actually, you cut two parts of the card, and here it is, there's one part, then you cut the second part, you put them together, and you decorate them with all the little elements, so it closes like that in your envelope, then when the recipient receives it, it opens up, and in the middle there, you can have your sentiment, whatever it is you wish to add to that. It, it, you know, and even if you're just using these elements by themselves, that, that wonderful little, look at the center on his sleigh there, these gorgeous clouds, the moon, the stars. You know, there's a heck of a lot going on there. Uh, use it with or without the fold along, but I implore you to use it with the fold along because it, it's a wonderful concept. It's very, very popular. People love their fold alongs. Um, I've got one more large thin set, and I must be honest, this is my absolute favorite. So I won't say I've kept the best to last, but I've kept my favorite to last. And this is Doodle Christmas. You're getting 11 dies in the set, but there's far more than that with all of the separate elements you get to decorate these wonderful Christmas characters. And one of the great things about this set you'll notice is that you're getting all these little embossing elements. Now that comes in very handy depending on the card suck you're using, but also if you're inking over the top. I'm gonna to reach back and bring in a couple of samples that I made last week. And you can see how by applying the inks, 
it actually brings that uh, embossed texture to the fore or in fact allows it to drop into the background oh that is so cute look at that festive rabbit with those gorgeous snowflakes and again we use the circle just to ink through there to get that dramatic background effect going on then here's our bear so you can see we we've inked over that it's allowed that emboss to actually come to life and then We'll take just some of the, those gingerbread men, they're so cute, how can you not love that? So there's the gingerbread men with the individual candy canes. So quick and easy to make, but you can see again those embossed elements when I ink over the top, I'm getting that, but it's just as good if you're using plain card as well. Now, let's take those out of the way because I want to bring in some stamp and framelit sets. And I'm going to start with groovy Christmas. I love these shapes. I love these shapes. They're really cool, really contemporary, very, very simple. But you're also getting a set of stamps. Now you can stamp onto your cardstock and then you can die cut them with these dies. So, or you can use the dies without, or you can use the stamps without the dies. Again, we are giving you that versatility. I'm sure you're looking at this and you realize the kinds of things that you can do with it. And you can see here, there's a little example of how those patterns start to work. And there's full instructions on how to get the very best out of this, but not one I've used yet, but one I'm very much looking forward to using. While we're on the subject, how about seasonal flowers? A classic layering stamp set and you can see you can layer this onto the flower so do that in a light green that in a darker green you can do this in a light red and that in a deeper red so you're getting that lovely layering element and once once you've stamped these you can use the coordinating dies to actually crop them very very accurately or you can die cut first and stamp afterwards again it's entirely up to you i do love stamp and framelit sets now that brings me very neatly to some of our 3D technology. And I'm going to start with one that comes from Kathleen, and that is the Poinsettia. And it is a classic, classic Poinsettia. And the folder itself, it is a 3D folder. There's not much to see from that. So it's just as well that I've brought along some samples for you today and there's one again layering with our opulence so i did three different colors of opulent and then i used my scissors to trim around and layer those up to get a little bit of depth you can see there's one of the dies from christmas banners coming in again and then how about this one again this time i die cut from cream card or ivory and then i inked over the top and this lovely background as well we're going to be talking about that embossing folder very shortly but again christmas banners coming down there then really simple craft card that's craft card which has been die cut and embossed and that's what impressions do they die cut and emboss at the same time and with this i've just dry brushed over the top to get that effect and then finally, something which is so new, I haven't even got around to putting a sentiment on it yet. Maybe it doesn't need one, I don't know. Answers on a postcard. But there we go, this is using the Sizzix Luster Wax. And we've got all three colors going on there. We've got the rose gold, we've got the gold, and the silver to give it a little bit of contrast. And you can see that strip in the background was done using one of our 3D embossing folders, which I'm about to introduce to you now. Now, I love this embossing folder. I really do. I don't know how it's called Holly, though. but it is. It's called Holly, and it's the most wonderful, flooded, festive, floral background. And um, probably the best way to show you is with some samples that I've made using that. And again, this is just with distressings. You can use luster waxes as we've seen. You can use acrylics in a dragging technique. There are so many techniques you can use to get the best out of these. Even just on plain card, it's quite stunning because you're letting light, uh, light and shadow do the work for you with that. So just keeping it neutral on plain card 
is absolutely great, but it's a gorgeous embossing folder. Whether you're using it to, remember our basic shapes as well. Imagine cutting that tree and then embossing it with this. Wow, that would really, really punch out. Then the next one I want to show you is Christmas tree pattern. And rather unsurprisingly, it's a pattern created by different Christmas trees, but because it's a 3D embossing folder, they're all at different heights, different levels. And that means when you come to do something like an inking technique, like that, for example, you can see how the different levels really come into play. And it gives you a fabulous sense of depth. And then if I bring in another example, using the same colors, but done in a very different way. Simple, classic, this kind of, that's this you can't done for you. But if you want to put a Christmas tree in front of that, one of the lovely Christmas trees that we see, by all means do so. It's entirely up to you. You are the maker, the creativity is in your hands. So, last but not least, and this is by popular demand. This one is called Shells. Uh, we did a shell one a little while ago. It was so popular that we've done one which is very different to that, but it's the same sort of repeating pattern. And it makes a wonderful, wonderful classic background. Again, it's a 3D embossing folder. So you're getting all that depth. You get, and with, with luster waxes, with, well, any, I mean, I've explained all the different things that you can use. I'm sure you guys are looking at this, imagining what you can do with a folder such as that. Now, I'm gonna bring in my bigs. Now it's time to look at big styles. But before I do, I just want to introduce you to a set which is called Stocking Fillers. Now again, we've got some lovely mistletoe, we've got some foliage, we've got some gifts, we've got that lovely tree. We've got, this is actually a little envelope which folds together and there's even uh, a little um, seal, a wax seal, which goes on the tip of the envelope. We've got the candy canes as well. There's the envelope there that shows how it comes with all the tabs and everything to put it together. But the reason it's called stocking fillers is because it fits, or they fit rather, perfectly into this stocking. It's a classic stocking shape and it's a big style. Now, for those of you who don't understand or know what big dies are, these have a deep steel blade inside them. So they will cut paper and card exactly the same way as thinlets will, but they will cut multiples of paper and card. So if you want to cut five or six layers of this at one time, great. If you're going to hang them on, on as bunting, absolutely perfect, not a problem. You can cut multiple layers. But it's not just card and paper, it's mat board, mount board, it's felt, it's textiles, it's leather, it's anything that you can cut with scissors. And with something like this, how about cutting it out of some of our lovely festive scissors felt, and then maybe two of them together, blanket stitch around the edge, you've got an actual physical stocking, which you can insert these lovely little things into, or maybe some actual candy canes. Put them alongside your fireplace at Christmas. Great, great diet, classic shape. Now, we're going back slightly to Halloween because we've got some great Halloween big styles. And I'm gonna bring both of these in at once. Now, check the name, we've got Autumn Pumpkin and we've also got Cute Ghost. Um, singular, should be plural, surely. Anyway, I digress. And now, with this one, oh my goodness, can you imagine these on a child's onesie at Halloween time? Can you imagine that? Maybe, maybe you want to use some die cut letters with a little monster or, uh, or something like that. Maybe, maybe die cut letters would say boo. I don't know. But you know, fabrics. This is where these guys really, really excel themselves. Cutting fabrics, cutting felt, cutting really heavyweight things. So chipboard, you could do them as cake toppers on a showstopper cake on your Halloween table. And I know that Halloween is becoming more and more popular. We're putting on parties. I know my daughter, she loves Halloween almost as much as Christmas. So no pressure, Dad. But having dads like this, this will really bring, make your Halloween sing out. They are absolutely fabulous and they are great sizes as well. And remember, with Biggs technology, you're getting far more versatility, far more bang for your buck 
as we might say. Now, let's bring in another big sign. Classic, simple, basic shapes. That's what Biggs is all about. So whether you are coming, not much to see there, unfortunately, but that, that gives you an idea. This is about, this is just a bit less than actual size. But what you can do with these when you cut them out of mount board or fabrics, or I don't really need to tell you, they're just great shapes. And if they were cut from pattern fabrics as well, they're gonna look spectacular. So maybe it could be a plique on a table runner, maybe on your festive napkins, uh, even on a card as well, but a great, great die, lovely classic shapes. This one, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is called Box Gift Tag. And you are getting the gift tag, and you're getting this circle and this lovely tree element. But alongside that, you're also getting the box part of it, and that is going to cut and crease that box. So when you put them back to back with two of the tags, you can, there's a hole in the top, so you can use twine, you can use ribbon, you can use whatever it is you prefer, and you can make these lovely, lovely little gift tag boxes. And you know, okay, we've got the tree in there. It doesn't have to be about Christmas as well. These are perfect party favors. These are perfect table decorations. You can use all of your wonderful festive card stock to create the, the very best tags. You can use our opulent card stock. You can use so much more as well. Or you could use mat board to cut the tags so you can have them really rigid, really robust. Great, great die. Uh, I particularly love this next one. This is called Christmas Character. And he or she really is a character. It's a lovely shape. It's so well drawn out, this one. But again, imagine that on a onesie. Imagine that. That'll give you some idea. That's actually this part around the eyes. So it'll give you an idea of the scale, the idea of the size. So the creature itself pretty much floods this big sty. Um, but for a plique, for, you know, uh, there's so many applications for big styles, uh, and too many for me to get into any great depth or detail about. But if you know about big styles, if you're a fan of big styles, then this is a wonderful addition to your stash, and it really is cute. You know, we've, we've used cool colors for this, but use your browns, whatever it is, whatever it is you want to get the job done, then this is a great, great die. Now, next we have banners and labels. Again, it's a Biggs. Uh, I can see these cut out of chipboard personally, but you know what I like about these is the different sizes. You could put this over the top of that. You could put the banner over the top of this. You could put this across the center of that and that over the top and then the banner. I mean, it's so versatile. There are so many ways that you can mix and match these individual elements. And I can just see it cut from a matte board and then using your acrylics with a brayer over the top or something like that. Very, very versatile set. Um, you can see the size roughly there. Great, great set, and one that I know is perfect for your stash all year round. And because they're classic shapes, it's something that you will return to time and time again. And while I'm on the subject of classic shapes, let's have a look at our rocking horse. This is so well balanced. It is so wonderful. And I see this, you know, how about a cake topper? How about a big birthday cake, child's first birthday, for example, that as a cake topper, or even as a plique on a bib, or on a, a baby's, uh, or a baby grow, or onesie, or even a little t-shirt, you know, you can, you can see. And because it's a big, bold shape, no problem when it comes to going around the edges and stitching. This one's been cut from card, uh, on the example there, but with fabrics, with textiles, it's gonna look absolutely stunning. Now there's one last one to bring in, and uh, it's called Nostalgic, and it's one of those classic Biggs XL dies. Now, I'm not going to kid you, when you buy a die like this, it's an investment. And when you invest in a font or an alphabet, you want it to be a classic font or alphabet. And that's exactly what you're getting here. Now this will work perfectly. Remember the essential type that we looked at earlier? Because of the size of these letters, and I'll move these around. I don't know if you can see those letters there. Josh is getting in really close with that camera. 
So it's a great size. And obviously the essential type is much smaller. So using them together is gonna to get the best out of something like this. But imagine these cut out of mat board or chipboard or mount board to make the size, it could be a child's bedroom, it could be a banner or a plaque at Christmas time. It could be a personalized gift. And that's another thing about alphabets. It gives you that personalization. It allows you to do something bespoke. Imagine you've got friends that are getting married. Why not cut the names out, put it on the front of a card, put it on a gift, maybe make, make a handmade gift. I'm not talking about homemade, I'm talking about handmade because there's nothing like a handmade gift. And it shows the time, the care, the effort that you put into making something like that is cherished down the years. I know that uh, I, when I was married, we had a lovely uh, little frame which, which was embroidered. And you know what? That's, that's probably my favorite gift from back then because I know that my wife's auntie, she spent a lot of time in putting that together. Great, great set, great alphabet, classic alphabet, perfect with your other alphabets, whether they be scripty or like the essential type. Very, very simple. Great investment, love that set. And that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, brings me to the end of this little uh, snapshot or sneak peek uh, of our chapter three collection. As I said, Tim Holtz will be bringing out his own chapter three and Eileen Hull at some point will be taking you through her chapter three releases as well. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it's given you some inspiration or some ideas for the festive period or Halloween or even for summer as well. Um, so thank you very much for joining me. If you want more information about these, then go and check out our website, sizzix.co.uk or if you're in the US, sizzix.com. See you again soon.